Mestizo, Spanish, mestizo listen, or mestiza is a term historically used in Spain, Spanish America and the Philippines that originally referred to a person of combined European and indigenous American descent, regardless of where the person was born. The term was used as an ethnic, racial category for mixed-race castas that evolved during the Spanish Empire. Although broadly speaking, mestizo means someone of mixed European, indigenous heritage, and usually for someone considered a plebeian, the term did not have a fixed meaning in the colonial period. It was a formal label for individuals in official documentation, such as censuses, parish registers, inquisition trials, and other matters. Individuals were labeled by priests and royal officials as mestizos, but the term was also used for self identification. In the modern era, particularly in Spanish America, mestizo has become more of a cultural term, with culturally mainstream Latin Americans regarded as, or termed, mestizos, regardless of their actual ancestry and with the term Indian being reserved exclusively for people who have maintained a separate indigenous ethnic identity, language, tribal affiliation, etc. The term mestizage, taking as its root mestizo or mixed, is the modern Spanish word coined in the 20th century for race mixture or miscegenation, the general process of mixing ancestries. To avoid confusion with the original usage of the term mestizo, mixed people started to be referred to collectively as castas. In some Latin American countries, such as Mexico, the concept of the mestizo became central to the formation of a new independent identity that was neither wholly Spanish nor wholly indigenous, and the word mestizo acquired its current meaning, it being used by the government to refer to all Mexicans who do not speak indigenous languages, including people of complete European or indigenous descent as well as Asians and Africans. The Portuguese cognate, mestico, historically referred to any mixture of Portuguese and local populations in the Portuguese colonies. In colonial Brazil most of the non-enslaved population was initially Mestico de Indio, i.e. mixed Portuguese and native Brazilian. There was no descent-based caste system, and children of upper-class Portuguese landlord males and enslaved females would enjoy privileges higher than the ones given to the lower classes, such as formal education, though such cases were not so common and they tended to not inherit property, generally given to the children of free women, who tended to be legitimate offspring in cases of concubinage also a common practice, inherited from Amerindian and African customs. In the Philippines, which was a colony of Spain, the term mestizo came to refer to a Filipino with any foreign ancestry, and usually shortened as tisoy. In Indonesia, the term mestizo refers to ethnicity which is a mixture of Europeans and native Indonesians. They are called as Indo people. In Ontario and Western Canada, the Metis people are a distinct community composed of the descendants of Europeans usually French or Scottish, sometimes English involved in the fur trade and Canadian First Nations peoples especially Cree and Anishinaabe. It does not include people of mixed European and Inuit ancestry. As used in Quebec, however, the term refers to anyone of mixed European usually French and First Nations ancestry. Etymology The Spanish word mestizo is from Latin mixtitious, meaning mixed. Its usage has been documented as early as 1275, to refer to the offspring of an Egyptian, Afro, Hamite and a Semite, Afro-Asiatic. This term was first documented in English in 1582. Modern day use. In the United States, Canada and other English-speaking countries and cultures, mestizo, as a loanword from Spanish, is used to mean a person of mixed European and American Indian descent exclusively, generally with connection to a Latin American culture or of Latin American descent, a concept much stricter than that found in Romance languages especially Portuguese, possessing terms that are not cognate with mestizo for such admixture, and thus the concept of mestico is not seen as particularly connected with Amerindian ancestry at all. It is related to the particular racial identity of historical Amerindian-descended Hispanic and Latino-American communities in an American context. In English-speaking Canada, Canadian metis with uppercase, as a loanword from French, refers to persons of mixed French and indigenous ancestry. 
French-speaking Canadians, when using the word Metis, are referring to Canadian Metis ethnicity, and all persons of mixed Amerindian and European ancestry, rather than the broader concept of mixed people in general Metis with lowercase, present in all other French-speaking countries, as would speakers of Spanish, the usual term to refer to mixed ethnicity people in general is thus, mulatra, which is considered elsewhere pejorative. In the United States, Metis Americans and Mestizo Americans are two distinct racial and ethno-racial identities, as reflected in the use of French and Spanish loanwords, respectively. In the Philippines, the word Mestizo usually refers to a Filipino with combined indigenous and European ancestry, but occasionally it will be used for a Filipino with apparent Chinese ancestry, who will also be referred to as Chinito. The latter was officially listed as a Mestizo de Sangli, in birth records of the 19th century, with Sangli as a reference to the Hokkienese word for business, Seng Li. In the Portuguese speaking world, the contemporary sense has been the closest to the historical usage from the Middle Ages, because of important linguistic differences, so that Mestico mixed, mixed ethnicity, miscegenation, etc. is separated altogether from Pardo any kind of brown people and Caboclo brown people originally of European Amerindian admixture or assimilated Amerindians, in which Mesticos can be also fully African or East Asian in their full definition thus not brown and one does not need to be a Mestico to be a part of the latter two categories. In Brazil specifically, at least in modern times all non-indigenous people are part of a single ethnicity Os Brasileiros. .Lines between ethnic groups are historically fluid, the Mestico Portuguese pronunciation, Miti, Isu, Miti, Isu group is by far the largest among the free people since the earliest decades of the colony. As explained above, the concept of Mestico should not in any way be confused with the Mestizo as used in either the Spanish-speaking world or the English-speaking one, as it relates no special relation to being of Amerindian extraction, and also should not be confused with Pardo, literally, brown people. There are Mesticos among all major groups of the country, indigenous, Asian, Pardo and African, and they are likely the majority in the three latter ones. In Saint Barthélemy, the term mestizo refers to people of mixed European, usually French, and East Asian ancestry. Topic: <coughs> Cognates. Mestizo, Spanish M E S T theta O or M E S T so mestico, Portuguese M T S U M E S T I S U or M E T. ISU, Metis, French, Metis, Mestis, Catalan, Mustis, Micheling, German, ML, Meticho, Italian, Metito, Mestiesen, Dutch, Mustis, N, Mesti, Middle English, Musti, and Mixed English are all cognates of the Latin word Mixtitius. Topic: <laughs> Mestizo as a colonial era category. In the Spanish colonial period, the Spanish developed a complex set of racial terms and ways to describe difference. Although this has been conceived of as a «system» and often called the Sistema de Castas or Sociedad de Castas, archival research shows that racial labels were not fixed throughout a person's life. Artwork created mainly in 18th-century Mexico, «casta paintings» show groupings of racial types in hierarchical order, which has influenced the way that modern scholars have conceived of difference in Spanish America. There were three main categories of ethnicity during the initial period of colonization of the Americas by the Spanish, European white or Spaniard Espanol, Amerindian Indio, and African Negro. Throughout the territories of Spanish Empire in the Americas, ways of differentiating individuals in a racial hierarchy, often called in the modern era the Sistema de Castas or the Sociedad de Castas developed where society was divided based on color, calidad status, and other factors. The main divisions were as follows Espanol femme, Española, i.e. Spaniard, person of Spanish or other European ancestry, a blanket term, subdivided into peninsulares and criollos. Peninsula, a European born in Spain who later settled in the Americas. Criollo, femme, criolla, a Spanish or other European descent born in the Americas. 
Castizo Femme, Castiza, a person with primarily European and some Amerindian ancestry born into a mixed family, the offspring of a Castizo and an Espanol was considered Espanol. Offspring of a Castizo, a of an Espanol, a returned to Espanol, a Mestizo Femme, Mestiza, a person of extended mixed European and Amerindian ancestry Indio Femme. India, a person of pure Amerindian ancestry Pardo Femme, Parda, a person of mixed white, Amerindian and African ancestry, sometimes a polite term for a black person Mulatto Femme, Mulata, a person of mixed white, and African ancestry Zambo, a person of mixed African and Amerindian ancestry Negro Femme, Negra, a person of African descent, primarily former enslaved Africans and their descendants, in theory, and as depicted in 18th-century Mexican casta paintings, Espanol status could also be restored to the offspring of a castizo, a mixed Spanish, mestizo and an Espanol, a, racial labels in a set of 18th-century Mexican casta paintings by Miguel Cabrera De Espanol e India, nais mestiza De Espanol y mestiza, nais castiza De Castizo y Española, nace Española. De Español y Negra, nace Malata. De Español y Malata, nace Morisca. De Español y Morisca, nace Albino. De Español y Albina, nace Torna Atras. De Español y Torna Atras, Tente en el air. De Negro y India, Chino Cambuja. De Chino Cambujo y India, Loba. De Lobo y India, Albarizado. De Albarizado y Mestiza, Barchino. De Indio y Barchina, Zambiga. De Castizo y Mestiza, Camizo. Indios Gentiles barbarian Meco Indians in the early colonial period, the offspring of Espanyols and Indias were raised either in the Hispanic world, if the father recognized the offspring as his natural child, or the child was raised in the indigenous world of the mother if he did not. As early as 1533, Charles V mandated the High Court Audiencia to take the children of Spanish men and indigenous women from their mothers and educate them in the Spanish sphere. This mixed group born out of Christian wedlock increased in numbers, generally living in their mother's indigenous communities. Mestizos were the first group in the colonial era to be designated as a separate category from European whites Espanyols and enslaved African blacks Negros and were included in designation of «vagabonds» in 1543 in Mexico. Although mestizos were often classified as castas, they had a higher standing than any mixed race person since they did not have to pay tribute, the men could be ordained as priests, and they could be licensed to carry weapons, in contrast to negroes, mulattoes, and other castas. Unlike blacks and mulattoes, mestizos had no enslaved ancestors. Intermarriage between espanyols and mestizos resulted in offspring designated castizos, three quarters white and the marriage of a castizo, a to an espanol, a resulted in the restoration of espanol, a status to the offspring. Don Alonso Ocruli observed in Mexico 1774, "...if the mixed blood is the offspring of a Spaniard and an Indian, the stigma of race mixture disappears at the third step in descent because it is held as systematic that a Spaniard and an Indian produce a mestizo, a mestizo and a Spaniard, a castizo, and a castizo and a Spaniard, a Spaniard. The admixture of Indian blood should not indeed be regarded as a blemish, since the provisions of law give the Indian all that he could wish for, and Philip II granted to mestizos the privilege of becoming priests. On this consideration is based the common estimation of descent from a union of Indian and European or Creole Spaniard. Ocrilly states that the same process of restoration of racial purity does not occur over generations for European African offspring marrying whites. From the union of a Spaniard and a Negro the mixed blood retains the stigma for generations without losing the original quality of a mulatto. The Spanish colonial regime divided groups into two basic legal categories, the Republic of Indians República de Indios and the Republic of Spaniards República de Españoles comprised European whites Españoles and all other non-Indians. Indians were free vassals of the crown, whose commoners paid tribute while indigenous elites were considered nobles and tribute exempt, as were mestizos. 
Indians were nominally protected by the Crown, with non-Indians, mestizos, blacks, and mulattoes, forbidden to live in indigenous communities. Mestizos and Indians in Mexico habitually held each other in mutual antipathy. This was particularly the case with commoner Indians against mestizos, some of whom infiltrated their communities and became part of the ruling elite. Spanish authorities turned a blind eye to the mestizos' presence, since they collected commoners' tribute for the crown and came to hold offices. They were useful intermediaries for the colonial state between the Republic of Spaniards and the Republic of Indians. A person's legal racial classification in colonial Spanish America was closely tied to social status, wealth, culture, and language use. Wealthy people paid to change or obscure their actual ancestry. Many indigenous people left their traditional villages and sought to be counted as mestizos to avoid tribute payments to the Spanish. Many indigenous people, and sometimes those with partial African descent, were classified as mestizo if they spoke Spanish and lived as mestizos. In colonial Venezuela, pardo was more commonly used instead of mestizo. Pardo means being mixed without specifying which mixture, it was used to describe anyone born in the Americas whose ancestry was a mixture of European, Amerindian and African. When the Mexican Republic was established in 1824, legal racial categories ceased to exist. The production of castor paintings in New Spain ceased at the same juncture, after almost a century as a genre. Because the term had taken on a myriad of meanings, the designation, mestizo, was removed from census counts in Mexico and is no longer in use. Gallery Spanish-speaking North America Mexico The large majority of Mexicans can be classified as «mestizos», meaning in modern Mexican usage that they identify fully neither with any indigenous culture nor with a particular non-indigenous heritage, but rather identify as having cultural traits incorporating both indigenous and European elements. In Mexico, mestizo has become a blanket term which not only refers to mixed Mexicans but includes all Mexican citizens who do not speak indigenous languages, even Asian Mexicans and Afro Mexicans. By the deliberate efforts of post revolutionary governments, the mestizo identity was constructed as the base of the modern Mexican national identity, through a process of cultural synthesis referred to as Mestizage MES, TSA, XE. Mexican politicians and reformers such as José Vasconcelos and Manuel Gamio were instrumental in building a Mexican national identity on the concept of Mestizage. The process of ethnic homogenization, cultural policies in early post-revolutionary Mexico were paternalistic towards the indigenous people, with efforts designed to help indigenous peoples achieve the same level of progress as the mestizo society eventually assimilating indigenous peoples completely to mainstream mexican culture working toward the goal of eventually solving the indian problem by transforming indigenous communities into mestizo communities sometimes particularly outside of mexico the word mestizo is used with the meaning of Mexican persons with mixed indigenous and European blood. This usage does not conform to the Mexican social reality where a person of pure indigenous genetic heritage would be considered mestizo either by rejecting his indigenous culture or by not speaking an indigenous language, and a person with none or very low percentage of indigenous genetic heritage would be considered fully indigenous either by speaking an indigenous language or by identifying with a particular indigenous cultural heritage. In the Yucatán Peninsula the word mestizo has a different meaning to the one used in the rest of Mexico, being used to refer to the Maya-speaking populations living in traditional communities, because during the caste war of the late 19th century those Maya who did not join the rebellion were classified as mestizos. 
In Chiapas, the term Ladino is used instead of mestizo. Due to the extensiveness of the modern definition of mestizo, various publications offer different estimations of this group. Some try to use a biological, racial perspective and calculate the mestizo population in contemporary Mexico as being around a half and two thirds of the population, while others use the culture based definition and estimate the percentage of mestizos as high as 90% of the Mexican population. Several others mix up both due lack of knowledge in regards to the modern definition and assert that mixed ethnicity Mexicans are as much as 93% of Mexico's population. Paradoxically to its wide definition, the word mestizo has long been dropped of popular Mexican vocabulary, with the word even having pejorative connotations, which further complicates attempts to quantify mestizos via self-identification. While for most of its history the concept of mestizo and mestizage has been lauded by Mexico's intellectual circles, in recent times the concept has been target of criticism, with its detractors claiming that it delegitimizes the importance of ethnicity in Mexico under the idea of racism not existing here in Mexico, as everybody is mestizo. Quote, in general, the authors conclude that Mexico introducing a real racial classification and accepting itself as a multicultural country opposed to a monolithic mestizo country would bring benefits to the Mexican society as a whole. <laughs> <laughs> Genetic studies a 2012 study published by the Journal of Human Genetics found that the Y chromosome paternal ancestry of the average Mexican mestizo was predominantly European 64.9%, followed by Native American 30.8% and African 4.2%. The European ancestry was more prevalent in the North and West 66.7 to 95% and Native American ancestry increased in the center and southeast 37 to 50%. The African ancestry was low and relatively homogeneous 0 to 8.8%. The states that participated in this study were Aguascalientes, Chiapas, Chihuahua, Durango, Guerrero, Jalisco, Oaxaca, Sinaloa, Veracruz and Yucatán. A study of 104 mestizos from Sonora, Yucatán, Guerrero, Zacatecas, Veracruz, and Guanajuato by Mexico's National Institute of Genomic Medicine, reported that mestizo Mexicans are 58.96% European, 31.05% Native American, and 10.03% African. Sonora shows the highest European contribution and Guerrero the lowest which also has the highest Native American contribution African contribution ranges from 2.8% in Sonora to 11.13% in Veracruz. 80% of the Mexican population was classed as mestizo defined as being racially mixed in some degree. In May 2009, the same institution, Mexico's National Institute of Genomic Medicine, issued a report on a genomic study of 300 mestizos from those same states. The study found that the mestizo population of these Mexican states were on average 55% of indigenous ancestry followed by 41.8% of European, 1.8% of African, and 1.2% of East Asian ancestry. The study also noted that whereas mestizo individuals from the southern state of Guerrero showed on average 66% of indigenous ancestry, those from the northern state of Sonora displayed about 61.6% .6 European ancestry. The study found that there was an increase in indigenous ancestry as one traveled towards to the southern states in Mexico, while the indigenous ancestry declined as one traveled to the northern states in the country, such as Sonora. <laughs> Central America The Ladino people are a mix of mestizo or hispanicized peoples in Latin America, principally in Central America. The demonym Ladino is a Spanish word that derives from Latino. Ladino is an exonym invented of the colonial era to refer to those Spanish speakers who were not colonial elites of peninsulares, criollos, or indigenous peoples. <laughs> Costa Rica 
As of 2012 most Costa Ricans are primarily of Spanish or Mestizo ancestry with minorities of German, Nicaraguan, Italian, Jamaican, Colombian, other Central American and Greek ancestry. European migrants used Costa Rica to get across the Isthmus of Central America as well to reach the USA West Coast California in the late 19th century and until the 1910s before the Panama Canal opened. Other ethnic groups known to live in Costa Rica include Venezuelans, Peruvian, Brazilians, Portuguese, Palestinians, Caribbeans, Turks, Armenians and Georgians. Many of the first Spanish colonists in Costa Rica may have been Jewish converts to Christianity who were expelled from Spain in 1492 and fled to colonial backwaters to avoid the Inquisition. The first sizable group of self-identified Jews immigrated from Poland, beginning in 1929. From the 1930s to the early 1950s, journalistic and official anti-Semitic campaigns fueled harassment of Jews, however, by the 1950s and 1960s, the immigrants won greater acceptance. Most of the 3,500 Costa Rican Jews today are not highly observant, but they remain largely endogamous. Costa Rica has four small minority groups mulattoes, Afro, Amerindians, and Asians. About 8% of the population is of African descent or mulatto mix of European and African who are called Afro Costa Ricans, English speaking descendants of 19th century Afro Jamaican immigrant workers. By the late 20th century, allusions in textbooks and political discourse to «whiteness» or to Spain as the «mother country» of all Costa Ricans, were diminishing, replaced with a recognition of the multiplicity of peoples that make up the nation. <laughs> El Salvador in Central America, intermarriage by European men with the Native American indigenous Lenca, Cacaupera and Pipal women of what is now El Salvador happened almost immediately after the arrival of the European Spaniards led by Pedro de Alvarado. Other indigenous groups in the country such as Maya Poamam people, Maya Chorti people, Alaguilic, Zinca people, Mix and Hmong language people became culturally extinct due to the mestizo process or diseases brought by the Spaniards. Mestizo culture quickly became the most successful and dominant culture in El Salvador. The majority of Salvadorans in modern El Salvador identify themselves as 86.3% mestizo roots. In 1932, ruthless dictator Maximiliano Hernandez Martinez was responsible for La Matanza, the slaughter, known as the 1932 Salvadoran Peasant Massacre in which the Native American indigenous people were murdered in an effort to wipe out the indigenous people in El Salvador during the 1932 Salvadoran Peasant Uprising. Indigenous peoples, mostly of Lenca, Cacaupera and Pipal descent are still present in El Salvador in several communities, conserving their languages, customs, and traditions. There is a significant Arab population of about 100,000, mostly from Palestine, especially from the area of Bethlehem, but also from Lebanon. Salvadorans of Palestinian descent numbered around 70,000 individuals, while Salvadorans of Lebanese descent is around 27,000. There is also a small community of Jews who came to El Salvador from France, Germany, Morocco, Tunisia, and Turkey. Many of these Arab groups naturally mixed and contributed into the modern Salvadoran mestizo population. Pardo is the term that was used in colonial El Salvador to describe a tri-racial Afro-mestizo person of indigenous, European, and African descent. El Salvador is the only country in Central America that does not have a significant African population due to many factors including El Salvador not having a Caribbean coast, and because of President Maximiliano Hernández Martínez, who passed racial laws to keep Afros and other peoples out of El Salvador, though Salvadorans with African ancestry, called Pardos, were already present in El Salvador, the majority are tri-racial Pardo Salvadorans who largely cluster with the mestizo population. They have been mixed into and were naturally bred out by the general mestizo population, which is a combination of a mestizo majority and the minority of Pardo people, both of whom are racially mixed populations. A total of only 10,000 enslaved Africans were brought to El Salvador over the span of 75 years, starting around 1548, about 25 years after El Salvador's colonization. 
The enslaved Africans that were brought to El Salvador during the colonial times, eventually came to mix and merged into the much larger and vaster mestizo mixed European-Spanish, native indigenous population creating Pardo or Afromestizos who cluster with mestizo people, contributing into the modern-day mestizo population in El Salvador, thus, there remains no significant extremes of African physiognomy among Salvadorans like there is in the other countries of Central America. Today, Salvadorans who are racially European, especially Mediterranean, as well as Native American indigenous people in El Salvador who do not speak indigenous languages nor have an indigenous culture, also try racial Pardo Salvadorans, and Salvadoran of Arab descent, also identify themselves as culturally Salvadoran mestizo by absorption. <laughs> Guatemala. The Ladino population in Guatemala is officially recognized as a distinct ethnic group, and the Ministry of Education of Guatemala uses the following definition. The Ladino population has been characterized as a heterogeneous population which expresses itself in the Spanish language as a maternal language, which possesses specific cultural traits of Hispanic origin mixed with indigenous cultural elements, and dresses in a style commonly considered as Western. Spanish-speaking South America <inaudible> Argentina and Uruguay Initially colonial Argentina and Uruguay had a predominantly mestizo population like the rest of the Spanish colonies, but due to a flood of European migration in the 19th century and the repeated intermarriage with Europeans the mestizo population became a so-called castizo population. With more Europeans arriving in the early 20th century, the majority of these immigrants coming from Spain and Italy, the face of Argentina and Uruguay has overwhelmingly become European in culture and tradition. Because of this, the term mestizo has fallen into disuse. Currently, individuals who are considered whites contributes to 85% of Argentina's population and 88% of Uruguay's population. Northern Argentina still has a predominantly mestizo population, especially in the provinces of Jujuy, Salta, Tucumán, Santiago del Estero, Catamarca, La Rioja, San Juan, Mendoza, Chaco, Formosa, Corrientes, Santa Fe, and Misena, where there is also a significant population of indigenous peoples. Chile In Chile, from the time the Spanish soldiers with Pedro de Valdivia entered northern Chile, a process of mestizage began where Spaniards began to mate with the local bellicose Mapuche population of Amerindians to produce an overwhelmingly mestizo population during the first generation in all of the cities they founded. In southern Chile, the Mapuche, were one of the only Amerindian tribes in the Americas that were in continuous conflict with the Spanish Empire and did not submit to a European power. A public health book from the University of Chile states that 30% of the population is of white origin. Mestizos are estimated to amount to a total of 65%, while Native Americans Amerindians comprise the remaining 5%. A genetic study by the same university showed that the average Chilean's genes are 60% European and 40% Amerindian. Topic: <inaudible> Colombia. <inaudible> Colombia, whose land was named after explorer Christopher Columbus, is the product of the interacting and mixing of the European conquistadors and colonists with the different Amerindian peoples of Colombia. Later the African element was introduced into the coastal parts of Colombia as enslaved people. Over time Colombia has become a primarily mestizo country due to limited immigration from Europe in the 19th and 20th centuries, with the minorities being, the mulattoes and pardos living primarily in the coastal areas, and pockets of Amerindians living around the rural areas and the Amazonian basin regions of the country. An extraofficial estimate considers that the 49% of the Colombian population is mestizo or of mixed mixed European and Amerindian ancestry. Approximately 37% is of European ancestry predominantly Spanish, and a part of Italian, French, and German and of Middle Eastern ancestry. 10.6% is of African ancestry. 
indigenous Amerindians comprise 3.4% of the population. 0.01% of the population are Roma. The 2005 census reported that the non ethnic population consisting of Europeans and mestizos those of mixed European and Amerindian ancestry constituted 86% of the national population topic <inaudible> Ecuador During the colonial era the majority of Ecuadorians were Amerindians and the minorities were the Spanish conquistadors who came with Francisco Pizarro and Sebastián de Benalcazar with the passage of time these Spanish conquerors and succeeding Spanish colonists sired offspring with the local Amerindian population, since Spanish immigration did not initially include many white females to the colonies. In a couple of generations a predominantly mestizo population emerged in Ecuador with a drastically declining Amerindian population due to European diseases and wars. Afro-Ecuadorians, Zambos and Mulatos, who are a minority in the country, can be found mostly in the Esmeraldas province, in the Val del Chota of the Mbabura province, and as small communities of Afro-Ecuadorians living along the coastal areas as minorities. Mestizos are by far the largest of all the ethnic groups, and comprise 71.9% of the current population. The next 28% of the population is comprised by four ethnic groups with about 7% each, the Montubios, Afro-Ecuadorian, Amerindian indigenous, and white. <laughs> Paraguay During the reign of José Gaspar Rodríguez de Francia, the first consul of Paraguay from 1811 to 1840, he imposed a law that no Spaniard may intermarry with another Spaniard, and that they may only wed mestizos or Indians. This was introduced to eliminate any sense of racial superiority, and also to end the predominantly Spanish influence in Paraguay. De Francia himself was not a mestizo although his paternal grandfather was Afro-Brazilian, but feared that racial superiority would create class division which would threaten his absolute rule. As a result of this, today 90% of Paraguay's population are mestizo, and the main language is the native Guarani, spoken by 60% of the population as a first language, with Spanish spoken as a first language by 40% of the population, and fluently spoken by 75%, making Paraguay one of the most bilingual countries in the world. Although it did not have the exposition to miscegenation as de Francia wanted, after the tremendous decline of male population as a result of the War of the Triple Alliance, European male worker émigrés mixed with the female mestizo population so as that pushed a middle class of mestizo background largely accepted as a configuration of the country. <laughs> Peru. According to Alberto Flores Galindo, by the 1940 census, the last that utilized racial categories, mestizos were grouped with white, and the two constituted more than 53% of the population. Mestizos likely outnumbered Indians and were the largest population group. <inaudible> Venezuela Mestizos are the majority in Venezuela, accounting for 51.6% of the country's population. According to D'Ambrosio 57.1% of mestizos have mostly European characteristics, 28.5% have mostly African characteristics and 14.2% have mostly Amerindian characteristics. Notable mestizos migrating to Europe Martin Cortés, son of the Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés and of the Nahuatl Maya indigenous Mexican interpreter Malinche, was one of the first documented mestizos to arrive in Spain. His first trip occurred in 1528, when he accompanied his father, Hernán Cortés, who sought to have him legitimized by the Pope. There is also verified evidence of the grandchildren of Moctezuma II, Aztec emperor, whose royal descent the Spanish crown acknowledged, willingly having set foot on European soil. Among these descendants are the Counts of Miraval, and the Dukes of Moctezuma de Tultengo, who became part of the Spanish peerage and left many descendants in Europe. 
The Counts of Miraval, residing in Andalucía, Spain, demanded in 2003 that the Government of Mexico recommence payment of the so-called Moctezuma pensions it had cancelled in 1934. The mestizo historian Inca Garcilazo de la Viga, son of Spanish conquistador Sebastián Garcilazo de la Viga and of the Inca princess Isabel Chimpo Ocalan arrived in Spain from Peru. He lived in the town of Montilla, Andalucía, where he died in 1616. The mestizo children of Francisco Pizarro were also military leaders because of their famous father. Starting in the early 19th and throughout the 1980s, France and Sweden saw the arrival of hundreds of Chileans, many of whom fled Chile during the dictatorial government of Augusto Pinochet. Topic: <laughs> Hispanic Asia and Oceania. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philippines. In the Philippines, the word, mestizo, and usually shortened as tisoy as a modern usage, today generally denotes Filipinos of mixed Austronesian and any non native, usually white, ethnicity. Mestizos in the Philippines are traditionally a blend of Austronesian, Chinese, Spanish, Southern European or Latin American ancestry and are primarily descendants of viajeros sailors who plied the Manila Acapulco galleon route, soldados soldiers and negotiantes merchants who were primarily Spanish, Chinese, or themselves mestizos. Because of this, most mestizos in the Philippines are concentrated in the urban areas and large towns of the islands such as Manila, Iloilo, Zamboanga, Cebu and Vigan. In these provinces of the Philippines, many Spaniards and foreign merchants intermarried with the rich and landed Malayo-Polynesian local nobilities. From these unions, a new cultural group was formed, the mestizo class. Their descendants emerged later to become an influential part of the colonial government, and of the Principalia, among whom were Manuel L. Cazon, the first president of the Commonwealth of the Philippines 1935 and Marcelo Azcarriga Palmiro who even became interim Prime Minister of Spain on August 8, 1897 until October 4 of that same year. Azcarriga also went on to become Prime Minister of Spain again in two more separate terms of office. In 1904, he was granted knighthood in the very exclusive Spanish chivalric order of the Golden Fleece—the only mestizo recipient of this prestigious award. More recent migrations and interracial marriages beginning in the 20th century resulted in a greater variety of racial admixture with white Americans and other Asians. <laughs> Guam and Northern Mariana Islands In Guam and Northern Mariana Islands, the term, mestizo, was borrowed from the Spanish language and was formerly used to identify people of mixed Pacific Islander and Spanish ancestry. However, as the United States gained control of these islands after the Spanish American War in 1898, the term, multiracial, replaced, mestizo. Mestizos, multiracials currently form a small minority of the population. Because most Guamanians and Northern Mariana Islanders were also given Spanish surnames as part of the Spanish East Indies, persons of white American and other non-Spanish European descent with Spanish surnames may be mistaken as having such descent. <laughs> <laughs> Former Portuguese colonies Lusophone South America Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Brazilian Mestico In Brazil the word mestico is used to describe individuals born from any mixture of different ethnicity not specifying any relation to Amerindian or European descent whatsoever the Mixed Ethnic Tea Day, or Mestizo Day Gia do Mestico, on June 27, is official event in states of Amazonas, Roraima e Paraiba and a holiday in two cities. One of the most notorious group is the Pardo brown people, also informally known as Merino tan people. .Given its euphemism like nature, it may be interpreted as offensive. They include mostly those of non-white skin color. 
Nevertheless, not all pardos are mesticos. For example, an Amerindian initially and most often Indio, often more formally Indigena, rarely Amerindio, an East Indian Indiano or a Filipino may be initially described as pardo, parda in opposition to branco, white, negro, afro, and amarello, yellow if his or her ethnicity is unknown, and it is testified by the initial discovery reports of Portuguese navigators. In the same way, mestico, a term used to describe anyone with any degree of miscegenation in one's bloodline, may apply to all said groups that in Portugal and its ex-colonies, always depended solely on phenotype, meaning a brown person may have a full sibling of all other basic phenotypes and thus ethnic groups. Important pardo groups in Brazil are the cabaclos, largely contemporary usage, or mamelucos, largely archaic usage, the mulatos, and the cafuzos. The first group is composed of the culturally assimilated Amerindians as well as the brown-skinned descendants or children of both white or merino swarthy people of otherwise white phenotype and Amerindians. They are an important group in the northern Amazon Basin region, but also relatively numerous on the northeastern and center-western ones. Then, those, neither Afro nor fair-skinned, whose origins come from the admixture between white or merinos and Afros or Cafuzos. The last group is composed of descendants of Amerindians or Cabaclos and Afros or other Cafuzos. Finally, those whose origins possess a notorious level of European ancestry and in which neither Amerindian nor African phenotypical traces are much more present than each other are sometimes known as Jakaras. There are, however, important groups who are mesticos but not necessarily pardos. People of East Asian and non-Asian descent combined are known as Inokos, from the Japanese love AI child ko, also used for all children of illegitimate birth. Mixed children are now largely referred to as half or hafu, though often, for those without contact with the term, Mestakoda East Asian nationality, ethnicity may also be used. Sararas differ from mulattoes at being fair-skinned rather than brown-skinned, and having non-straight blonde or red hair. Other people who are not brown and thus not pardo, but also their phenotypes by anything other than skin, hair and eye color do not match white ones but rather those of people of color may be just referred to as mestico, without specification to skin color with an identitarian connotation there are the distinctions, though, of mestico claro, for the fair-skinned ones, and mestico merino, for those of olive skin tones. In Brazilian censuses, those people may choose to identify mostly with branco white or pardo brown or leave the question on ethnic, color blank. <laughs> Lusophone Africa <laughs> Angolan Mestico the Mestico are primarily of mixed European, native-born indigenous Angolan or other indigenous African lineages. They tend to be Portuguese culturally and to have full Portuguese names. Although they make up about 2% of the population, they are the socially elite and racially privileged group in the country. Historically, Mesticos formed social and cultural allegiances with Portuguese colonists subsequently identifying with the Portuguese over and above their indigenous identities. Despite their loyalty, the ethnic group faced economic and political adversity at hands of the white population during times of economic hardship for whites. These actions lead to ostracizing Mesticos from their inherited economic benefits which sparked the group to take a new socio-political direction. Across the 500-year Portuguese presence in the country, the Mestico have retained their position of entitlement which is highly evident in the political, economic and cultural hierarchy in present-day Angola. Their phenotype range is broad with a number of members possessing physical characteristics that are close to others within the indigenous Afro-non-mixed population. Since the Mesticos are generally better educated than the rest of the indigenous Afro population, they exercise influence in government disproportionate to their numbers. <laughs> Basau Guinean Mestico 1% of the population is of mixed African and Portuguese descent, Tamahak, and Arabic genetic influence ignored. Mozambican Mestico 
a minority population of Mozambicans of mixed Bantu and Portuguese heritage. Topic: <laughs> Mesticos of São Tomé and Príncipe. Mesticos of São Tomé and Príncipe are descendants of Portuguese colonists and enslaved Africans brought to the islands during the early years of settlement from Benin, Gabon, the Republic of the Congo, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Angola these people also are known as Filos da Terra or «children of the land». <laughs> Lusophone Asia Topic: Sri Lankan Mestico. In Sri Lanka, the names Mesticos (Portuguese for mixed ethnicity) or Casados (married ones) were applied to people of mixed Portuguese and Sri Lankan (Sinhalese and Tamil) descent, starting in the 16th century. Topic: <laughs> French-speaking North America. Topic: Metis of Canada. A French colonial empire in Canada, the Metis are regarded as an independent ethnic group. This community of descent consists of individuals descended from marriages of First Nation women, specifically Cree, Ojibwe, and Salto, with Europeans, usually French, English, and Scottish laborers or merchants employed in the North American fur trade. Their history dates to the mid-17th century, and they have been recognized as a distinct people since the early 18th century. Traditionally, the Metis spoke a mixed language called Michif with various regional dialects. Michif, a phonetic spelling of the Metis pronunciation of Matif, a variant of Metis, is also used as the name of the Metis people. The name is most commonly applied to descendants of communities in what is now southern Manitoba. The name is also applied to the descendants of similar communities in what are now Ontario, Quebec, Labrador, and the Northwest Territories, although these groups' histories are different from that of the Western Metis. In northern Manitoba some communities spoke Bungie, a combination of Gaelic, Orcadian, Cree, and Ojibwe. Bungie is now extinct. Estimates of the number of Metis vary from 300,000 to 700,000 or more. In September 2002, the Metis people adopted a national definition of Metis for citizenship within the Metis Nation. Based on this definition, it is estimated that there are 350,000 to 400,000 Metis Nation citizens in Canada, although many Metis classify anyone as Metis who can prove that an ancestor applied for money scrip or land scrip as part of 19th century treaties with the Canadian government. However, Labrador, Quebec, and even some Acadian Metis communities are not accepted by the Metis National Council and are represented nationally by the Congress of Aboriginal Peoples. The Metis are recognized as Aboriginal, but not as a First Nation by the Canadian government and do not receive the same benefits granted to First Nation peoples. However, the 1982 amendments to the Canadian Constitution recognize the Metis as an Aboriginal people, and have enabled individual Metis to sue successfully for recognition of their traditional rights such as rights to hunt and trap. In 2003, a court ruling in Ontario found that the Metis deserve the same rights as other Aboriginal communities in Canada. Mestizo of St. Barthélemy In St. Barthélemy, the term mestizo refers to people of mixed European usually French and East Asian ancestry. <laughs> English-speaking North America <laughs> Canada United States The United States has a large mestizo population, as many Hispanic Americans of Mexican or Central American or South American descent are technically mestizo. However, the term, "'mestizo' 
is not used for official purposes, with Mexican Americans being classed in roughly equal proportions as white or some other ethnicity. See links, and the term mestizo is not in common popular use within the United States. Many Mexican Americans use the term Chicano, which has a strong connection with their native heritage. Anglo-Metis A 19th-century community of the Metis people of Canada, the Anglo-Metis, more commonly known as countryborn, were children of fur traders, they typically had Orcadian, Scottish, or English fathers and Aboriginal mothers. Their first languages were generally those of their mothers, Cree, Salto, Assiniboin, etc. and English. Some of their fathers spoke Gaelic or Scots, leading to the development of the dialect of English known as Bunji. Topic. See also: Arab Berber, Brown racial classification, Bronze racial classification, Casta, Castizo, Colored. European colonization of the Americas Indigenous peoples of the Americas Indo people La Cruing Melting pot Micheling Mixed blood Mulatto Spanish colonization of the Americastasoy